Come out to the box. Out the box. Out the box. Yeah. Hello YouTube, cheers and welcome to the basement. My name is Bruce Lively and I'm D-Boy Slim. And the basement is the first daily hip hop debate show. From Tuesday through Friday, we tackle the most intriguing topics in hip hop culture and the world around it. So welcome back basement family and rest in peace, prodigy. For real, we salute one of the best who was put to rest June 20th, 2017, yesterday. The mob deep lyrical monster meant a lot to all of us. A lot to me, a lot to you. You don't have no idea. A lot to my man over here, D-Boy Slim. Okay, so today, you know, the show is dedicated to you, dedicated to him. Definitely a hip hop legend, R.I.P. Big P. Cheers it up with me, brother. Today's question. The best Mob Deep album of all time. With that being said, Lego. Come out to the box, boy. We back. We back. And this one is out to a Queens legend. This one is dedicated to a hip hop legend. Pioneer, a veteran, you know, a dawn as he liked to refer to himself, if you will. Queens dawn. The HNIC, if you will. That's right, yeah. Big P. Prodigy. Rest in peace. So, me and Bruce, we said, uh, what are we going to debate about as far as uh, Mob D? Because the first thing that came to my mind, they had so many uh, classic, extraordinary, yeah, extraordinary albums throughout the '90s. We said, well, which ones were the classics and which ones were the best? Which you know, and so that's what we're going to debate today. Which one were the best Mob Deep albums? For me, and some may call it nostalgia, the infamous for me is probably the best album. Mm -hmm. Official Queensbridge murderers, the mob comes equipped for warfare. Beware of my crime family who got enough shots to share for all those who want to profile and pose. Rock you in your face, stab your brain with your nose bone. You all alone in these streets, cousin. Um, I had heard somewhere. Shook ones. A lot of, lot of different legends to that album right there. I had heard somewhere that, uh, contra you know, as a contrast to the first album with the infamous. Havoc couldn't really, they couldn't really afford to pay a lot of producers, mm. which ended up a blessing in disguise because it forced Havoc to go in the studio and learn how to do the beats himself. Which, as we all know, it's just trademark for Mob Deep. Their beats was A1 Crack. quality Crack. throughout the whole entire 90s. It, it kind of, if you will, for me, it was like the soundtrack to the East Coast, if you. If you lived a hip hop life, if you you know not just a street life or you know illegal life, but if you lived hip hop in the '90s, it was kind of East Coast anyway. Now the West Coast had their own sound or whatever the case, but for the East Coast coming out of New York, the sounds that Marv D was providing you, this is why it was classic, you know, and pioneering because um, it was like the soundtrack to the East Coast, to the streets of the East Coast. With that being said, let's go into a couple joints off the infamous. Starting with the first joint, which was a trademark with Mob Deep, having the first joint just banging right off, right off the rip, like right out, right out the gate. Every intro, every um, intro. Start of your ending, y'all may remember. Yo, it's mm -hmm. the P double. 
used to push that, you know, used to push that, used to drive the act and had the Mac in the engine. <laughs> like, peace. Even back then, you could go check it. Now five, his, his, his words was, I, I told my man Bruce before this, his words was always elaborate. He just, if if he, like if all of, if, if everybody was talking about the streets, the way he talked, the way he elaborated on the streets was better. And that was P. That was P's thing. That's why P stood out when he when he talked about that life. When they talked about what they talked about, the content or whatever, you could you could debate them. It was controversial. It was this. It was that. It was glorifying the streets. It was glorifying the, the uh, you know the, the the projects or the struggle. But it was always elaborate with P. And another thing I found interesting about P's words, if you go back and listen to it, it was always a message actually with P. He always told yeah. you the downside of it. Somebody's yeah. getting shot. Somebody's in the hospital. You will be on the ground shivering. Don't let my next rhyme be about you. I rock you in your face, stab your brain with your nose bone. A lot of times extreme, but a lot of times telling you it's gory, it's not pretty, it's it's it's, it's grimy, it's dark, it's not it's not you know it's not colorful, you know. It hurts. It hurts. So that with P was you know that's what that's what his skill was to me. That's what he that's what he stood out for. Um, I for an eye with Nas Raekwon. That's a classic and it's Nah, I say it again. I for an eye, Mob Deep with Nas and Raekwon. Classic song. Classic. That's on the infamous. QU Hectic, one of my favorites. Oh yeah. They just they go, they run down Queens and you know, at that time, you know, what's going on, you know, on their side of thing, you know. Let um, me ask you this, brother. Uh-huh. Where were you when that album came out? When you were listening to it, what did that bring you back to? Give me a story. Give me something interesting, man. Mob Deep. I don't know about one uh, story in particular, but, you know, just like I said, this is my first year in high school when that Infamous dropped. And uh, I just remember being proud to be from Queen. Yeah. Uh, honestly okay. speaking, I remember, I got you. I, you know, that's, you know, that's what it was for me. But, um, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, what else you had? You had the intro, the introduction to Big Noid. Like, like a lot of y'all yeah. remember. That was the first time you heard uh, Rapper Noid, Big Noid on that album. And it's the R-A-double-P, N-O-Y-D, niggas can't fuck with me. Coming straight out of QB, pushing the infinity. It's funny, man. Big Noid seemed like he was on every one of their joints. The album. For a while, he was. Yeah, for a while, he that was. That was kind of like that young dude they was honing to, to go out and, and, and be the next one out the crew or whatever to do his thing. Other joints on that infamous album, Survival of the Fittest, we can't forget. Oh, that was a classic. I was waiting for you to say that. Survival of the Fittest, and and of course, you know, the mega classic on that album, which is a hip hop classic, Shook Ones. Oh, on the infamous album. So, you had classics. Ain't, no, ain't no such things as halfway crooks. As my man, you know, uh, enlightened me to, uh, in a lot of uh, battle battle scenes if yeah. you go to a lot of uh, these arenas or uh, these venues that have battle rapping or whatever usually a lot of a lot of the you know favorite beats that you hear is gonna be the shook ones or maybe the survival of the fittest period <clears throat> as, as you saw in the movie 8 Mile you know but uh yeah not you know and like I said the beats was a staple for Mob Deep but their rhymes a lot of times you know, people know, 9596, nine, everybody, you know, you had a lot of dudes who was that in New York and who was this. P was on, you was talking raps, P was on that list you was talking about. Like, he was up there. He did joints with Rock Kim, KRS, uh, you know, all, all the heavyweights P, P did joints with. And not because his pin game was solid. His pin game was A1. Um, I know Verse of the Month he got, and then and Infamous was four and a half in the source. Y'all remember the Source magazine, mm -hmm. and they used to rate him. But uh, when Hell on Earth came out, he got like verse of the month or verse of the year or something for that one with Nightmare Vultures. Four and a half mics. He was definitely at the top of his game. But I'm gonna let Bruce tell y'all, you know, who 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 is who he thought was the uh or what which Mob Deep album he thought was the best. And I'm gonna be real with you too. Like, I was impressed with P's solo album. Let Let's not forget mm -hmm. Prodigy. We talking about mm -hmm. Mob Deep. H and I C. H and I C. That's why I said that earlier. The H and I C. He came out with the prodigy and it 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 was the Batman. Many people was hoping it would be Superman because they had built it up so much with the album that I'm about to say. And Nas was already Superman in Queensbridge. And that was the problem. Uh but don't sleep. Get that. Listen to it if you ever get a chance. H and I C. Prodigy's solo album. 
Crazy. Crazy. And then I remember when he signed with 50. When they signed with 50, Blood Money, that, was that album. That was good. But the one that, that made HNIC so anticipated was when Mob Deep changed their beat style. Havoc started making different style of beats. And you heard Prodigy in his full form. Mm -hmm. He completely, you hear the evolution of his poetry and that album is called Murder Music. Long shotguns down my pants, leg limping. Killer B, you still living. Even my pops, too. He taught me how to shoot when I was seven. I used to bust shots crazy. I couldn't even look because the loud sound used to scare me. I love my pops for that. I love my nigga, he black. I take the life of anybody trying to change what's left. And through all of that, a nigga ain't scared of death. All y'all brand new niggas just scared to death. I spent too many nights sniffing coke, getting right. Wasting my life. Now I'm trying to make things right. Grand over some. That's the other classic. That's the other classic. I know you remember songs like Quiet Storm. Mm, another classic, hip hop classic. Facts. Right? It's mine featuring Nas. Obviously referencing The World Is Mine. Y'all remember Thug Life Is Mine. Mm hmm. Streets Raise Me. Another one with Noid on there. Mm. Illustrious. Another one where, where Havoc shows off. But, but Prodigy just kills. I mean, I mean, and where are you from? I believe, I don't know, I'm not gonna say this for sure, I'm not gonna say this in a historical context, I'm just gonna say this to y'all speaking as friends. This may have been the first time that someone from from what they would call up top, someone from New York, embraced someone from down south. Eight Ball was on there, and it's the new south. We're not talking about Scarface and the, and the histories of, we're talking about this time, it was, it was the new south. It was the new, the new ride, the new bump. The 3-6 was out. This was a whole, everybody was dissing them and being like, well, that's not hip hop. That's not hip hop. This may be one of the first times, if not the first time that they took 8-Ball, put him on their album and uh, and made a pretty decent song with it too. Yeah. Un unabashedly. We're talking about an album, Murder Music, that went hit number three in the Billboard charts. Body. Over a million sold the first year. That's out of here by now. Uh, and they, you just saw their evolution, reinvented the beats, reinvented themselves, and just around the time when people thought they fell off, it had, yeah. at this time, it was about three years. No doubt. Two to three years, I say closer to three. Hell on Earth had came out. Hell on Earth came out, not really well taken or appreciated. See, no doubt. Uh, a couple years later, people was thinking, where is, where are they? They did this and proved themselves to be who we knew they were. One of the greatest hip hop duos of all time. And let's be honest, no shade on Havoc, but Havoc made the beats. <clears throat> P was the rapper. He was the one that had all the style you needed, all the flows you needed. The poetry was immaculate and you could just tell his growth from from your version, from your from your take, all the way to this, those four years that it took, five years that it took, was you saw the growth in Prodigy, man. And this was what made the next move so big. Everybody was anticipating his solo album because they saw what he had done by the time he got to mur murder music. We're talking about the greatness of, of a man named Prodigy. Uh, I remember I was coming out of the military just at the time, or not out of the military, but I had just got done with, with my summer training, AIT, learning how to be what I was gonna be. Came back and that album got me through an entire year of, of readjusting to regular life from military life. I remember that, I remember that. That among others, um, but it, it's appreciated, man. We, we remember him for who he was. We hope y'all go check him out. Anything else? That's it, man. Queens, you know, he stood amongst giants. And that goes from raps to the streets. He stood amongst giants. If you if you follow the music, then you know what it was. Um, Yeah, man, Mob Deep. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Y'all let us know who, which, which, which Mob Deep album y'all thought was the best. Yeah, is it one of ours that we chose? Or you got another one. You got something that in your mind that, that maybe we didn't cover. Cause like I said, it's a lot. Either way, Prodigy, we salute.
queens get the money. <laughs> Listen, got a couple shout outs. As usual, the major shout out goes to the Fleetwood Spice Collection. Thank you guys for being our sponsors. Uh, you guys check them out, man. You see the commercials every day. Today's not one of those days. Check out Fleetwood Spice Collection. It's good stuff. Wadi Umi. Yeah. You, you did your thing. Of course, you came with another 10-page dissertation that I can't respond to at the moment. But we shout you out because we love you, man. You 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 are a serious fan. You, you come through like 3 in the morning with your joints. Uh, Barry Jackson. I saw you a couple weeks ago. I told you I'd shout you out. Bam, you got a shout out. Mr. Fleetwood, as always, you got a shout out. And Boss Hall. Boss Hall, if you're watching, check us on Facebook, man. If you want to get, get with us and the email's not working for whatever reason, check us out. We're on Facebook. Team Box Cutter. Facebook.com. Check it out, man. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Go listen to the music that we're telling you. Go honor this guy, man. Go on to this guy. It'll be worth worth your while. Still got more coming. Keep checking in. Going into the Pac movie and all of that. It's going to be crazy. Peace. <laughs>